in this video uh, we are going to the first study about uh, read only memory rom it is widely used to store programs and uh, permanent uh, uh, data in computers and uh, embedded systems uh, this device uses uh, the presence or absence of a transistor in order to represent information bit 0 or 1 it can be built based on either a NOR or NAND structure. It is also called as non volatile that is uh, permanent. Its content can be preserved even when the power supply are turned off. So, ROM are potentially faster and it consumes less power. It can also be used to implement acyclic logic where all main terms are present. The types of ROMs are maskable, programmable, read-only memory, m -prom. Here, the content is permanently programmed at the time of processing itself. And the actual contents are determined by the layout of mask. This maskable programmable read-only memory, it is used as a ROM uh, whenever th the production value is high and it is included as a part of a larger IC. Next one is fusible link read-only memory, it is also called as WROM, writable read-only memory. Here the contents can be programmed by the user after all the processing has been completed. So it is usually realized by the bipolar process that is BJT. Here usually the if the flows is blown means uh, it is uh, zero is stored. If, uh, if it is non blown means uh, one is stored. Okay. Next one is um, a programmable read only memory which uses uh, MOS technology uh, where the transistor is included at the every storage and uh, it has an adjustable uh, uh, threshold voltage for cans that is electrically programmable uh, the fourth type was erasable programmable read only memory here the content can be erased uh, by uh, using ultraviolet rays this ultraviolet rays, uh, if, if I use the ultraviolet rays to remove uh, the content, means all the content get erased. Okay. Next one is electrically erasable programmable read only memory, E square ROM. So here the particular content can be electrically erasable. Okay. Compared to the E prom, it can, uh, E prom will erase uh, the entire data here I can choose a specific data and I can uh, erase it okay next one is uh, flash e prom so uh, flash means uh, it is very fast and uh, uh, it uses the technology called uh, Fowler Nordium lock okay which is having some uh, floating gates Okay, whenever there is a content present in the floating gate, means it uh, it assumes it as a uh, the data is stored is one. If it is not there, means uh, the data stored is zero. Okay, so the applications of uh, ROM is it is used in game machine, calculator, and washing machines. Uh, here, um, uh, uh, during the processing itself, I can program this right. So the manufacturing time is fast, is less, and uh, uh, it can be implemented very fast. So these are the examples of um, uh, ROM. So here BL represent the bit line and WL represent the word line. So if uh, word line is turned on means, uh, if it is one means, uh, the VDD will go to BL. So the bit line value goes higher. Okay. Similarly, if uh, WL turn on the transistor means uh, the WL value, sorry, the BL value will goes to zero. Okay, and so the logic zero is stored here. So here the bit line value is higher, and if the sorry, if the bit line value is lower and the word line value is higher, means uh, 
uh, I, uh, the one value is stored. Okay. So if there is no diode, means uh, um, the zero value is stored. Okay. So this uh, uh, diode transistor is uh, uh, is having a um, a disadvantage uh, that it doesn't isolate the bit line from the word line. That is all the current required to charge the bit line capacitance, uh, which can be quite high for the larger memories. Uh, then it has to provide it through the word line and its driver. So therefore, this uh, um, uh, diode cell is uh, mainly used in the smaller memories. So next, uh, let us discuss about uh, programmable read-only memory. So it has a decoder. If I want to implement uh, the half adder means the half adder tooth table is this one. A, B is my input and some carry is my output. If 0, 0, I will give the sum value and carry value is 0, 0. If 0, 1 means uh, the sum is 1 and carry is 0. 1, 0 means sum is 1 and carry is 0. 1, 1 means sum is 0 and carry is 1. Okay. So uh, this represents uh, and W of 0. Okay. Word 0, word 1, uh, word 2 and word 3. Word line. Okay. So since I have... Um, uh, two outputs, sum and carry. So this uh, represents a bit line. Okay. So this is nothing but uh, BL0 and uh, BL1, uh, which is nothing but uh, my sum and uh, carry. Okay. So since I have a two trans two inputs, uh, so the decoder formula is one into n into two power n. So is substitute two. So two is to four. So a b and uh, four outputs I can write it as zero one two three. So for 0, 1, 2, 3, for 0, 1, 2, 3, for 1 and 2 value, the sum is 1. Okay, so I have to give like this, okay. And for um, carry, uh, 3 value is 1. Okay, so this is for carry. Okay, so the carry value is uh, AB and the sum value is um, A bar, B and um, AB bar. So you have to add these two values. Okay. So you have a uh, OR gate. Okay. So since uh, the AND and the OR gate are not efficient, uh, we are going for the CMOS logic and uh, we are going to use uh, dynamic or pseudo NMOS uh, logic. Okay. Um, usually we go for the NOR implementation. Okay. So let us first let us discuss about uh, NAND based ROM. So here also I am going to implement the half adder. So in this structure, you can see the each bit line uh, is comprises of uh, uh, pseudo NMOS gate. Okay. So what is pseudo NMOS gate means here the um, uh, this uh, pull up transistor, pull up transistor is replaced by a uh, pre-charged transistor. That is, uh, this is always uh, what uh, always uh, the output goes to one. So you can see the PMOS is always on. So since I have given zero to the PMOS, it get turned on. So the VDD will go to my output. Okay. So this is my uh, pseudo NMOS logic. So since I want to implement the sum, so you know the sum here. So why it is called as NAND gate means you can see the N, the two NMOSs are connected in the NMOSs are connected in series. Okay. So I want to implement uh, one and two, right? For sum. So for 1 and 2, you have to include that uh, 2 transistor. So if I include this 2 transistor, this becomes a, a bar B, the whole bar, A bar B in the whole bar into A, A B bar, the whole bar. Okay. Into uh, the whole bar. Okay. So this is my logic. Um, so if I apply the Morgan's law for this one, it becomes a a bar B plus A B bar. So this is my sum. So next I need to implement the uh, carry. Okay. So in order to implement the carry, uh, this is my carry. Okay. So you have to include uh, only one transistor at the word line 3. So what is this one? This is nothing but A B the whole bar. 
So the inverse of this one will come here. That is A B the whole bar, the double bar. Okay. So A B the, the double bar represent uh, A B. Okay. So this is my carry. So this is how we have to implement the um, a half arrow using NAND based form. So this uh, this structure is called as four uh, four word line into two two bit line uh, four plus two bit uh, pseudo n mass NAND. And row. Okay. So here you can see uh, to keep the memory cell size and the bit line capacitance uh, smaller, uh, the size of the pull down transistor should be kept uh, as small as possible. Okay. And uh, the bit line uh, will receive a low voltage when its cell stores a logic zero. So in order to increase the speed of the transistor, currents in amplifiers are usually employed. So um, uh, if we compare to the NOR gain, NAND, con na uh, NAND configuration will result in considerable losses in performance and it is also useful only in the smaller memory array. So and therefore we are going for the NOR based RAM, its disadvantage is uh, it is high and it costly and, uh, advent and uh, it has a lower density. Okay. And the, what are the advantages of this uh, NOR based storm is uh, it has a higher data integrity. Uh, that is, uh, it has a faster read speed and uh, byte level access. That is, the individual byte can be read it uh, independently. So, here you can see these two N masses are connected in parallel. Okay. So, for uh, to implement the sum, so this is, this, you know, this is a pseudo N mass logic. Uh, here, uh, this A bar B plus you will get since these two transistors are in parallel A bar B plus uh, A B bar the whole bar okay so if I take the inverse of this one I will get A bar B plus A B bar this is nothing but K X R B okay so next uh, I want to implement uh, oh carry so in order to implement the carry again i need to connect um, on in this uh, and i have to connect to so this is my carry and uh, i have to connect the one touch just to there okay so this is nothing but a b Okay, so you will get uh, AB the whole bar that is equal to AB. Carry is equal to AB. Yes, Next, uh, I can go for a programmable read only memory. So, programmable logical array, PLA. So, here, uh, so here, uh, both AND and uh, RS. Programmable. So, in order to program uh, my uh, AND gate, so AND gate means uh, uh, that is a ROM decoder. Okay, ROM decoder you have an AND gate, right? So, I need to go implement um, A B bar. A B bar. So, A B bar I can write it as A bar plus B the whole bar. So, how to get this A, A bar plus B the whole bar? So, for A bar, I have to connect it to uh, one transistor to the A bar. Okay. And to get B, I have to connect it to B. Okay. See, see here, I have connected to A bar and B. Okay. Since these two transistors are in parallel, I can write A bar plus B. The whole bar is uh, the output. I have to take the whole bar. Okay. So next, I, I need to implement. So this is nothing but a uh, pseudo NMOS logic. Okay. So next, I have to implement. Uh, this is nothing but uh, A, and this is nothing but B bar. So A plus B bar the whole bar. That is nothing but A, A, A bar B. Okay, so I need to connect uh, to this is nothing but uh, um, a ROM array 
and uh, use a uh, programmable uh, OR gate. Okay, so I need to connect. Uh, so this is my A bar B, and this is nothing but A B bar. So these two transistors are connected parallel. So since these two transistors connected in parallel, I have to add A A B bar plus A bar B the whole bar. So if I take the inverse of this one, I will get some value that is nothing but A B bar plus A B A bar B that is A X R B. Similarly, if I want to implement uh, uh, the AND gate. So I have to go for this is my VDD and uh, to implement to implement VDD so this is nothing but A A bar A bar plus B bar the pole bar. So that is something what A B can. So next I need to implement uh, the carry, right? So in order to implement the carry, because A B, right? So So this is my A B. So I will get A B the whole bar. So I have to uh, connect a uh, inverter. So in order to get the carry that is equal to A B. So this is how we have to implement the uh, for programmable logical array.